They'll be calling you radical, Kevin Blanche here in old Monterey. And I try to do these on the coast, on the east coast, on the west coast, any place I find the custom house. Now, why are all the custom houses on the sea? Huh? What's a custom house? I'm an occupier. I'm Flood Wall Street. I'm an anti-social inequality. I'm an anti-globalist. What's a tariff? Class, this is what a tariff is, which this country was founded on tariffs. And I want to talk about here in California. Now, I'm retracing a lot of this walk, too, not just recording the ecology. I'm retracing my great-great-grandfather's walk in 1848 in Old Town. As he made his way, he, he was in Monterey in 48. You know, they made their way back up. Those are the guys that found the gold at Souter's Mill. But Hamilton, first eight employees of the United States, the Coast Guard, working for the Custom House, blocking the new the East India Company, Walmart, the new East India, Apple, all of it, usury complex. And it's not just an economic story, it's a usury. St. Francis, I thought he was the anti fury I stayed at St. Francis. I was at St. I didn't stay there, but I was at St. Francis of the Redwoods. I slept inside the Redwoods right there. But so Hamilton watched the slave trade down there. He he was the first really, well, not the first, but I mean, the greatest abolitionist in history, no doubt. You know, him and John Brown, I mean, no doubt. But Gimlet Girls, Harry Beecher Stell, but they collected duties. How do you think they paid off the Revolutionary War? Read. Tariff Act of 1791, I believe. It came before the Bill of Rights, by the way, to incentivize the buying of homemade goods. But it was much more than that. Collect revenue. Look, if you're going to exploit slaves, there's 7 billion people in this, or 2 billion, you know. So here in California, now why did the Spaniards not rape and pillage like they did the new Columbus, Fukushima, by the way? They traded down here for 400 years, 29 tribes in Old Town and San Diego. Plenty of them right here. They would come into the ports, you know, and this is way back, they used leather bucks. They understood these economies, these people understood whatever, it was very sparse, whatever, but as California grew, as the United States grew, they weren't about to compete with the East India Company. They were about, let's get real, the patriots of this state, the patriots of the United States, they were craftsmen. You know, the silversmith Paul Revere. You know, so that's what a custom house is. Would it solve all our problems? It is, you want to put the fear of God into a globalist, just mention a tariff, which NAFTA, I knew. I felt like I was gut shot. I remember the day that it happened. I was on Wall Street in those days. I knew the working class was over. It was sad. I knew this country would be good. So really, the usury-based economy, we have to keep a 0% interest rate to keep real estate values so they can use their credit card in this giant Ponzi scheme. Everybody's committed their own Ponzi scheme called their house. Simple answer, simple answer, custom houses. Ships come in here, oh, you're gonna bring your exploited, using slaves, goods, you wanna dump them on the market, you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay. We put a tariff on Apple, we put a tariff on all these things, the debt would be over so fast, make your head spin off. The jobs would come back so fast, make your head spits off. And you know, so you got these people going to these major colleges, 200,000 degrees with PhDs, whatever, doesn't matter. You're gonna be a barista serving coffee, really. You're a slave, you're an indigenous slave. And I wanna say this one thing too, is about the NCAA and college sports. It's outrageous, that is slavery. It is outrageous slavery. Coaches, multi-millionaires, universities, freaking, you know, sports merchandising. The, I, I timed this whole gig for the 100th versation of the shirtwaist fire. Happened March 25th, coming right up, 20, or thir, 1911, but two weeks before that, something happened to well under the way to that place, Fukushima. So I went off because it trumps everything, because no tariff's gonna block cancer when you get it here. The sea's dead. I've been documenting it the whole way. I mean, it's outrageous how much of it's dead. Oh, the sea lions are dying, starving to death. That's no biggie. The trees are dying from solar radiation. Yeah, really. You, so you have a device to tell solar from nuclear radiation. From, nobody has that device, but they are dying from radiation. We know that. You know, so 
No starfish. Oh, that's just whirling disease. They always got an excuse for everything. The toxin plume. You know, baby boomers are disgusting people. They're sickening, but that's what a custom house is, kids. They're all up and down. They want to sneak their stuff in, you're going to pay. That's how the Coast Guard what came to be. So, solve everything as far as social inequalities, but I've been in flood walls, 450,000 people. I'm a carpenter, what's a hammer? I'm a baker, what's a cake? I'm an anti-nuclear activist, Helen Caldecott supposedly, what's Fukushima? You know, the main event happened. I'm an anti-globalist. I'm, you know, an anti-so-called no world order, which is old world order, it's neo-feudalism. I'm anti-social inequality, which is the greatest redistribution of wealth in human history. Why? Because we got rid of tariffs. Hello. They don't want to get, I mean, what's a tariff? <laughs> the emperor has no fucking clothes. Stan Tunin, Steinbeck's place. Robert Louis Stevenson's place. Henry Miller's place. Kevin Blanche, by the way, one last thing. With Bartow, I grew up. My grandfather owned all those pits up Brigham City, the purest, whitest sand in the world. The bar tops on my mom's house, it's all over, it's blue, red. We made adobe right there without a kiln. They're still, they're magnificent. Where do you think he learned it? He learned it from his father, his father learned it from his father, and his father learned it in 1848 in Old Town, San Diego. He walked up the trail, stopped right here. By the way, he saved the Mormon Church single-handedly, and he called himself a communist. They do not believe in inherited wealth. Communists, not communists, communists. The United Order, 100% redistribution of wealth. You know, look at them now. Stand tuned. Tariff's the answer, kids. That's the Pacific Ocean right there being genocidal.